What's up, Factory Crew? We're back to the channel. I'm Ryan, and this is Nick. What up? So, to continue the one hit wonder marathon, even though we're coming to a very close end, very sad. <clears throat> you know, it's been a great journey. I have enjoyed all, um, well, I'm not gonna say all the songs, but <laughs> pretty much most of the songs we have done, I have enjoyed most of them. So, I'm really grateful for that. I think it's probably one of my favorite marathons we've done so far. Yeah, they've all been great. Yeah, they've all been great. Yeah. You know, but if I had to be biased, you know, I think okay. this one was. Probably my favorite just because, you know, there's a lot of songs we've done that I haven't heard in a long time. And then we've done songs I haven't heard and they were just absolutely fire. You know, it was only probably like maybe two or three I wasn't big on. But, you know, out of like what, 15, 20 songs that we've done so far. Today, I am bringing The Knack. Patty White, give a dog a bone. I was trying to think of how one I forgot for a second. That's embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so the Knack was an American rock band based in Los Angeles. They was founded in 1978. Uh, dog. Dog. <laughs> Not dog. <clears throat> dog Fuger had previously played an electric rock band called Sky, as well as the Sunset Bambers. You still said dog. I said Doug. No, you said dog again. Did I say dog again, really? Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. You I did. thought I said Doug. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Doug Fuger had previously played an electric rock band called Sky, as well as the Sunset Bombers. Wow. Although Sky had received a modest amount of acclaim, including being produced by the Rolling Stones, was produced by Jimmy Miller, the band broke up without any chart success. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's why they ended up making the knack, because they did not get no success. <laughs> which is, But I thought that was crazy because, you know, Rolling Stones are very successful. Yeah. So having somebody from the Rolling Stones, like the mindset of it, you know, you would think you would get some type of success, you know? Sometimes there are just too many brains in the room, you know? <laughs> so the song we are doing today is called My Sharona. Yeah. And me and Nick have definitely heard this song. I'm pretty sure all of you have heard this song because this song has literally been played everywhere. Movies, weddings, your backyard, in your room. Yeah. And I think it was uh, on Rock Band. So Really? Yeah, me and Ty... Yeah, that's a Utah thing. Played huh? it a lot, yeah. <laughs> matter of fact, it? matter of fact, I would play guitar and sing at the same time on this song, and I would get a hundred percent on expert. Oh my gosh! Way. Yeah. So you know this song like front and back. Like if you sung, did they give you the lyrics to sing? Yeah, the lyrics were on the screen. Gotcha. But you okay. also hit a, had to hit like the right pitches and everything. Right, right, right notes. And I would do that and play guitar at the same. I was a rock star, Ryan. It felt it felt really good. <laughs> like when I, when I played the song, like. Man, I just nailed it every hey, single time. I'm not gonna lie, I was you know, I played that game a couple times, I was not that great at it. So I'll give y'all props because that game is not as easy as it seems. It takes a while to get good yeah. at it, yeah. Um, this song was off the album Get the Knack, and it came <laughs> out in nineteen seventy nine. All right, so let's do this. This is the knack, my Sharona. Motor up, my motor up, come 
Yeah, yeah that's it's fire. It's still really good, man. That's fire. He just gets you. Ah, ah, he just wants you. It gets me moving, man. It gets me moving every time. Yeah, I never really thought about it, but it, it kind of has a similar effect of Kenny Loggins' Footloose. Oh, yeah. I could just. I knew there was a song oh. <laughs> that was making me think. I could not think of what the song was. I yeah. was like, this groove like reminds me of something. So, yeah, that's definitely what it is. Yeah. I just, I just Especially in the beginning. It just makes you want to twist or something. Yeah, yeah. That's where it takes you. Yeah, even the lyrics are fire, though. <laughs> yeah. Come on, pretty woman. Yeah. It makes me look at a girl and go, yeah. Come here. <laughs> it's, it's almost got like an Elvis thing mm. type of going on. Okay. I don't know. Just kind of like that confident, uh, sexy strut type yeah, yeah. of thing. <laughs> hey, Elvis was confident, baby. <laughs> and, uh, man, I love that the fact that there's uh, two guitars here, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we hear it on the right, and then it comes back to the left, mm -hmm. and then they're together. Man, that sounds great. And I love when that happens because it's like you don't really have to sacrifice the groove. All right. Like, I like hearing the bass with it, but... It's like, oh, when you have another guitar, though, <laughs> the more the merrier. That's you know right. what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I think I said Elvis because it kind of reminds me of just like an oldies type of groove. Mm -hmm. Just this super old school. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> da, 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 top, bottom, top. But you know what I'm saying? Super simple, yeah. That beat is just way too catchy. Just this, the, 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 t you all right? What? Oh, I, th I, th I th was that you? What? I heard like a. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, this is my stomach. I didn't, oh, okay. I, I didn't know. I was like, are you hungry? <laughs> and this song kind of reminds me of uh, Full House, right? Because uh, Uncle Jesse, John Stamos, oh. he played this with his band, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I used to think the lyrics were something else, and I'm not going to tell you what I think uh, My Sharona used to sound like to me. It used I, to no, it is. It used to sound like my something else. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I, but, think they, I think they know. But when I was little, I was like. When you was little. You, you no. got that out when you was <laughs> when I was probably like ten or eleven. <laughs> yeah, I knew what that word was, oh. and I thought they were saying that on Full House. Oh, I was like, how are they getting away with this? Because I didn't know like the actual song. I didn't know right. it was a cover. I just that might have been the first time I heard, it and I was like, wow, they're saying that word. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't too bright. I'm still not bright, but that's what I thought it was at one time. Other than that, uh, I have fond memories of this song. Yeah, I think the uh, my, 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 my Sharona. My, my, I think that's like the, the harmony. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the uh, the earworm where you're never gonna forget it. It's like my, 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 my. even yeah. before we even did the song, I was over going. My, 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 my. Yeah, this. this I don't even do this wrong. School. My, my, my. This song just cheats. It <laughs> yeah. just cheats. We're taking like the most simple, basic grooves and just putting them all in one song. Yeah, literally. And you're gonna like it. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna like something out of this. Sit song. down and just shut up and like. It. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Look at that guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> it's so devious, dude. He's like, you're gonna, you're gonna listen to this, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> I'm smiling Man. at you like that, boy. Man, what a Ooh. catch! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, imagine that man looking at you for 24 hours. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's killing these vocals. Though. He is killing the vocals. You got you to give it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. When you gonna get to me, get to me. Is it just a matter of time, Sharona? Is it just a destiny? <laughs> destiny? Yeah, I like it. Or is it just a game in my mind, Sharona?
back in it. Is he breathing? Sharona. Man, Sharona. That was fire. Come on, man. Woo. That was fire. Man. What a what a pick. Every time, great. every time I hear that song, I'm like, do I really want to listen to this right now? <laughs> I've heard this song a lot. I heard it at work like two days ago, you guys. <laughs> like when we know a song, we're gonna tell you, but guess what? We're still gonna enjoy the hell out of it. Yep. Because 99% of the time, it's the first time I heard it here. Mm-hmm. And it just, it's a new experience. Yep. Just like, yeah, just you, like the breathing. I didn't know. Every, yeah, never knew that. I didn't know, I didn't know he never breathed like that. that. Never like, knew it. <laughs> Before they said the, mm, uh-huh. it's like he was going like, uh, there was like a little, like some in the back going, it's like, boom. It's like somebody was oh, saying really? it. Sounded like really? it sounded like somebody was saying something oh, about. Okay. Unless I'm just hearing things. <laughs> and someone's going, fum, suck up. Fum, I, don't know. I was like, what wow. is going on? I don't know. I was are like, I never. Are yeah. you all right? Are you okay? <laughs> Should be asking the man the, in the song is he all right? He's the one doing it. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I hear, darn it. <laughs> I'm, I could have been hearing things. I don't know. It's because it was so why, far. But look, why would we lie to the people? Like this song is huge. Of course, oh, yeah. Of course, we've heard this song. Like even you. Who yeah. Knows? If I've heard it, it's a big song. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, if I know any song, it's a song that's really big, and I've heard it multiple times. Yeah, I'm not saying like as far as like sales go or anything oh, no, no, like no, no, that. No. But I'm saying. At least in our area, in yeah. our life, this gets played you like all the time. It don't matter where you are. Yeah, you can hear this song anywhere. But getting back to my original point, which was about five years ago, um, every time I hear this song, I'm like, "Do I really want to hear this?" And then the solo happens. Oh man! You can make an argument that is one of the greatest guitar solos of all time. I'm. I'm look, hey. Hey. hey, you're the guitar man. Hey, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're the guitar man. Don't so you I'm... doubt me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be me. It's going to be this one. No, look, <laughs> look, I mean, no matter what your taste is, your tone, all that, I mean, we're all, everybody has their own thing on that. And it's not only like, wow, that's amazing, like skill level wise. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously you can hear that. But even to you, like, who knows nothing about it? Like, would you say that's one of the best we've heard on the channel? Yeah. Just in your opinion. Yeah. Like, you can hear that. You can hear the intensity. Yeah. You could tell that that was not easy to do. No, it wasn't. That, I was just, I could just imagine how fast his fingers were going just to do that, you know? Just to be yeah. able, because you got to, because you don't just, you know, they don't just keep their fingers on there and just do this. They got to do it, everything got to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it's like, that is not easy to do. Like, I've tried playing guitar, and it's not easy to do. <laughs> yeah. And I was terrible at it. So, <laughs> I mean, to, to me, when, when it comes to actually. You know, I mean, the, the talent thing is cool, but it just just the sound of it is amazing. Yeah. It's it's just super super creative, and I think that takes this song from that's a really good one hit wonder to like arguably one of the best one hit wonders yeah. ever. It's it that solo is just you, you can't say anything about that. That solo is untouchable. Yeah, plus you had a really good point about the double guitars because the other guitar was still going, kept the rhythm, dun, which made it dun, sound even better dun, while he was going solo. Yeah, I was like, man, that's a great combo right there, just for that to keep going over here, and then it's just a better soundscape. Yeah, it exactly. Really and I was like, man, that's really good because <laughs> like we don't hear it in the headphone. It's just like, uh, it's a you know, it's good because like you probably can't even hear the other guitar if you're just hearing it out loud. You mm-hmm. probably just hear this the whole time, like the solo. I you think you saying? can. Like when I've heard this in public, I th- I think you can. But yeah, I, I agree. It's even better here. Yeah, it, like, it, it it's just more is. up front. You, know, you can just hear more. You can just hear the combination of them both together. And then the drums, man. The bass don't forget about the drums, man. Yeah, the drums are fantastic yeah, in this song. You, it's, it's very easy to overlook them, mm-hmm. and the, even the bass is very. Yeah. it's mixed well. It's just so. Yeah, I give credit to the guitar solo and that simple catchy groove. But really, everybody knocks this out of the park. Yeah, it's it's a it's a team effort. It really is. Background vocals when it comes, we all come together. Like my Sharona, that's a that's a great little you know you know with harmony they all put together. I think that's great. So what what are they saying in this song though? 
Oh, I think they're freaky for sure. <laughs> I mean, he said he literally says right here, "Never gonna stop. Give it up. Such a dirty mind." Yeah. I mean, what's that going to tell you? And then he says something about his thighs. Thighs, yeah. Sharona. Yeah, running down the length of my thighs, Sharona. Come on now. Yeah, <laughs> it's way more dirtier than it's. Yeah, sounds, yeah. It? It's actually. I think it's a. Really, it's not. You know. It's not like <laughs> grit dirty, but it's a dirty song. It says the song was inspired by a 17 year old girl named Sharona Alpirin that frontman Doug Feiger, Feiger, yep. Feiger mm-hmm. met at a clothing store and with whom he became infatuated. She eventually became his lover and then his girlfriend, but the two never married. Mm. So I remember. So Sharona's actually a real person. Yeah, so I, that's I, I think that's why people I remember that them saying the song is controversial because she was seventeen. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, so yeah. he's not around that age group. I'm assuming. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not back that, then. that makes yeah. this song very weird. Yeah, yeah. it does. Mm. Did not know that. <laughs> yeah, and that's look. That's why people don't want to know. Yeah, and this is what we kept trying to tell y'all. This sounds like a great <laughs> upbeat song until you read the lyrics, and now I don't know about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to make any assumptions. Like I don't know, you know, other thing, other details about the story, or whatever. But I do remember hearing that, which which is why some people are kind of weirded out by the song. And I, I can I can totally get that. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, it doesn't take away from how fantastic the song sounds. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you, I mean, it, it's just one of those things where even if you know, you just have to block it out. And yeah. if if you can't block it out, if you can't separate the meaning from how it sounds, um, okay, that's that's fine. You know, yeah. a lot of people can't do that. I am a person who can. You know, I just try to put that to the side, even though, like, I don't agree with it, obviously. <laughs> but I'm not forgetting about it. I'm just saying, like, I'm still going to enjoy this song because it it's still a great song. It's really up to you. Can you separate it or not? Yeah, next time this song's played, I'm better. <laughs> yeah, you're still going to do that. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be the same as I heard now. I will tell people just to make them think differently about the song. Yeah, but I'm not gonna care when it comes along. I'm, just, I'm it's a good feeling song, and you just want to dance to it. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. And look, we've already done plenty of songs like this where it just you never know the true <laughs> meaning about something, and you may, you feel different about it. So, like Nick has said plenty of times, he's like, man, this like a song makes it more meaningful to him when he knows the lyrics after he's mm-hmm. learned listened to it the second time or how many times he's ever heard it. Mm-hmm. But you know, most of the time, you know, you just don't really know. You know, it's all about the beat, man. I've been saying that, though. Ever since we started this channel, I said the beat is what captures you. You know, lyrics is like ice on the cake for me, in my opinion, when it comes yeah. to, like, these kind of songs. Because the beat is what's going to get you going. Now, whether the lyrics going to be good or not, who knows? But we know yeah. this beat's fire. <laughs> yeah, I think people know by now it's it's like if it, if it sounds good to us, yeah, we're going to like it and... You know, yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah. Whatever the story is afterwards, yeah. You know, we may really love it. It may complement the song. It may be neutral, where it's like, you know, whatever. And it may be like, oh, I didn't know that, and I probably don't want to <laughs> promote that. Yeah, I I don't want to associate that <laughs> with that. So that's just really what you have to do. At least I feel like that's what we try to do. Yeah. So no matter what, like I'm still gonna enjoy this song, and I I got. You can't get me away from that guitar solo. Nah, yeah. Are you kidding me, man? That guitar solo. I could imagine on uh, uh, Rock Band. Yeah, it's it. Uh, I think it was. I think they made it a little too easy on that game. Oh, really? <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was thinking they the whole time. I was like, how did Nick do this? They should have they made it harder. <laughs> yeah, they should have made it harder. Oh, man. But yeah, overall, the sound of it, this is just a super fun song. Yeah. And you associate that with just a killer guitar solo. Ph- phenomenal guitar solo. Yeah. Deadly combo in that regard. So easily one of my favorite songs of the marathon. Mm-hmm. Love that one. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.